Hey, how you doing? I wanted to do this quick video kind of explaining uh, why I'm wearing this. I know that most people probably don't care, but some of you do. And I've been in videos and live streams and stuff and I've, I've had it on and I've had about, I feel like a hundred questions asking about it. And so instead of having to actually talk about it each and every time, I'm just going to do this video, kind of explain it once and then there you go, you have all the info. Because I know that there are a handful of people out there that are curious. Um, first and foremost, no, I'm not injured. Uh, I'm fine. This is a procedure uh, to helpfully correct my scoliosis. If you've watched this channel, I've done vlogs, I've talked about the fact that I have scoliosis. I've had it since I was like, I don't know, maybe 20, 21, somewhere in that range. And I've tried everything from physical therapy, a chiropractor, uh, to just anything you can think of. Uh, surgery is something that obviously could be done, but I've been recommended by several people that that is a last case, last case scenario. Because once you have surgery to correct scoliosis, they put steel rods in it, and you're you're never really the same. It's only like you have no other option, and your quality of life is pretty much down the shitter because this, it's the curve is so bad that it's causing all sorts of physiological issues. For me at this point, it's really mainly just causing a lot of pain. And so uh, those steel rods getting put in my back isn't really gonna correct a lot of the pain. You're still gonna have pain with that sort of thing, just stiffness and all this other stuff. It's just gonna correct all the other issues because obviously nerves go through your spinal cord and so when it starts curving uh, you know, a, a, to a degree, uh, extreme degree, those nerves start getting pinched and it starts affecting all kinds of stuff like numbness and you know uh, tingling and you know stuff with like your organs and stuff it, it affects all that stuff um i'm not to that point yet for me it's just pain so it's not really yeah pain sucks and i'm in pain 24 7. i wake up several times through the night having to being woken up over the pain yes it sucks but surgery isn't going to really fix that I'll still have a lot of pain so it's not really something that I want to do and there's really no point in it I'm always trying to think of alternatives and this is another thing um, so it's it's called Atlas adjustment um, a lot of people swear by it uh, I think even Montel Williams did a show on it and he got it but they adjust the first little bone in the top of your neck the Atlas bone it's the first bone it's the first vertebrae and what that does is basically sometimes that'll go out of whack and everything will start kind of like bending to compensate. So when they adjust it and put it back to where it's supposed to go, theoretically it causes everything to kind of compensate back into the direction it's supposed to go. Um, we'll see. Uh, it, uh, there are people that swear by it, say it works. I mean, it's just one of those things where it's obviously the individual individual cases may vary and there's a lot of different factors that go into it but it's worth a shot it's worth a try and so that's that's what this process is doing they adjusted my alleys they took x-rays i saw it with my own eyes i was like yeah that bone is just it's twisted it was twisted up there in this weird position like distorted i don't know how it happens um don't know <laughs> no idea but it's been that way for a very very long time uh, just probably me being so do, doing something stupid in my younger days, doing a stunt or something, and it probably caused that to happen. And then the rest of my spine kind of like moved to kind of compensate for it. Uh, so they put it back. It's back where it's supposed to be. Now I'm just kind of like in this process of waiting for everything to kind of morph back into where it's supposed to be. And hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, stop my, my pain uh, from being so bad. I don't think it's ever going to be back to 100% because honestly, it's I'm too old and it's been this way for a very long time. So to retrain the body after like 20 something years is, it's a, uh, it's asking a lot, but in this entire process, it's, uh, it's hard. It's, it's hard, but I don't want, I don't want you to think I'm making this video for you to feel sorry for me or any of that bullshit. I'm fine. I can still walk. I still have my wits about me. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm uh, if you want to feel sorry for, but for anybody like, like for some medical issues, feel, feel sorry for cancer patients and, 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 you know, people with diabetes and debilitating diseases and, and things like that. Um, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just trying to correct pain. Um, so this is just to basically once they put it in the place 
to keep everything kind of locked into place and to atrophy my neck uh and they want they want the, they want my neck to atrophy uh, some because you know i go to the gym a lot and what's happened is i've built a lot of muscle on top of a frame that's kind of not where it's supposed to be and so that makes it more difficult for everything to go back to where it was because i have a layer of muscle keeping everything in place so that means atrophy the neck uh, no gym so i can't go to the gym for a while so i'm going to shrivel down to i'm going to get a lot of comments saying i'm shriveling down um and that's that's just going to be a thing that's going to happen and um then it's going to allow everything to kind of like move more freely and then once everything's moved to the point where it's that's where it's going to then it's new position essentially then that's when you go start re-strengthening everything you go back to the gym you start building rebuilding you know muscle and strength uh, on top of a more solid foundation and you know this is going to be a process that's probably going to be four or five six months so uh you'll probably see me in and out of this um definitely in live streams i'll i'll have because that's like four or five hours sometimes um in a video interview stuff like that i might just take it off and just be very careful because i can just shoot those in you know 10 15 minutes and that's fine but um yeah yeah, trips. I'll probably have to be taking on using it on trips and things like that. I, I don't know. Right now, it's just it's in this phase where it's the doctor doesn't even know. Um, it's a it's kind of like a, a process of everybody kind of reacts differently, and so there's no like one set formula. I may have to be in this for the next five months. I may have to only be in it for another week. I may just have to be off and on. It just really kind of depends on how things progress. So that is. That is that is what this is about, um, and last and certainly not least, um, I know somebody is going to because you guys are awesome and you're very supportive and you're very caring. I know that you're one, at least one of you is going to talk about like uh, you know trying to help with medical bills or anything like that. I don't need it, so I thank you. I appreciate it, but I'm telling you, like I don't need it. I don't need any extra to the Patreon. I don't need any extra to anything else. Uh, this has been paid for. It's already paid for. Um, it was a lot of money. <laughs> it was, it's right, uh, six -ish, six -ish K. Uh, but it's again, over the course of four or five months, uh, or potentially longer. Um, if it gets me out of pain, it's completely worth it. Completely worth it. Uh, but we have, you know, we have medical, um, uh, uh, cards and things that in debit cards for medical specifically for medical this is paid for so don't think you're you know don't please don't offer to to to, to donate to uh, my medical expenses uh, as I I don't need them uh, if you're going to donate to anybody's medical experience expenses um, donate to like st. Jude or you know cancer pay, kids with cancer or things like that um, just um, you know that if, if you're gonna do like uh, if you're gonna like try to help pay from somebody's medical bills and this isn't just me saying oh don't do it but really do it and I'm telling you don't do it it's paid for I'm fine it's paid for okay I know I'm gonna have to say that like a million times because you're gonna have some duck some fuck face in the in the comments oh he's just trying to get people to pay for no I'm not but if I keep wearing this in videos, people are gonna keep asking about it. I'm gonna to have to keep saying the same thing. I want all the information right here, right now, out into the open. And just so everybody kind of understands what's happening and that I don't I don't need any assistance. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, but if you wanna do something to help me out, subscribe. <laughs> or, no, or just, just, you know, wish me luck. Positive vibes, how about that? Give me some positive vibes. Um, just, uh, you know, good positive vibes, positive thoughts, positive thinking. Um, I think that, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for thinking that kind of thing sometimes works, but you gotta, you gotta really mean it. And so, I don't know, I would appreciate that. So, have a good one, everybody, and thanks for watching.